All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Redo. Oh, right, I shouldn't be looking at the game yet. Uh, it's a Metroidvania in early access. I randomly saw the developer posting about his game finally being out on Twitter, and I'm like, oh, I've never heard of this game before. It actually looks pretty damn sweet. And so I sent him a tweet, and he was uh, nice enough to send a copy along before today's stream. <laughs> Uh, if I sound a little out of breath, I'm very tired. I'm packing my life up into boxes. I guess at this point I've kind of stopped. Uh, Shell's going at least for a little while longer. Um, but... So, midst of moving and new games come out and I'm like, well, I gotta play them somehow. So it was either this or in, ho in a hotel. So we're gonna play Redo for a little while. Uh, let's see. So he did ask that I read the, uh, Steam page before we get going. So, for starters, it's an early access game. It will be in early access until no major bugs or balancing issues are found. Uh, and the additional game mode is added. I'm not actually sure what the additional game mode is. It's only going to be in early access for two to three months. So this is pretty... Oh, I see. Okay. So this is pretty close to the full version. The only thing missing really is a hard mode with more enemies in a new secret area. In addition, normal campaign will be more balanced and polished. Let's see. So what's the current state? It features the full campaign, beginning to end. Some bug fixing and rebalancing will likely take place. Uh, price will stay the same. And feedback from players uh, is encouraged. So what else is this? Uh, Nonlinear exploration, that's good. Slow paced, that's also good. I'm very slow right now. Bunch of different weapons and tools. Nice ambient music. Currently it's just kind of creepy hum that's making me uncomfortable. And some sweet pixel art. So, I don't know. I... I, uh, be interested to get going. Uh, let's see, so, what happens if I hit continue? Nothing. New game! Oh, dot 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 dot. I thought that was, like, the loading thing, but no. Am I still alive? It's cold out there and empty in here. The age of humanity is gone. There's only ashes. Day after day, my memories are fading into nothing. But somehow I'm still alive. I received a message today from an unknown source. Another human? Could it be possible? I need to go check it. Meet me at the top of the Solar Cathedral. This is what the message says. I need to try one last time. I need to go there. So... Visually, this reminds me a lot. Uh, let's turn the sound effects and stuff down a little bit. This is a bit punchy. Okay, resolution is full screen. Back. All right, uh, up to interact with objects. This reminds me of Lone Survivor, but way nicer looking. All right, so as usual, when in doubt, walk backwards. Nothing. That's a very short hop. Okay. An old desk with drawings and notes scattered all over it. Oh, progress saved. So I can, I can uh, save it like the weird, weird graffiti. I love the visual design of a lot of these. So A to jump, but boy, boy is jumping not. I don't know. Jump <laughs> this is the like the least oomphy jump I have seen in a game in a long time. Okay, so what is that? It looks like an ice pick maybe. No, it's like a weird ice pick crowbar situation. And there's some creepy dudes. Yeah, this really straight up does remind me. This straight up does remind me of Lone Survivor. But as a Met Metroidvania... When the blue number above the enemies reaches zero, they will be stunned. Okay, so they've got a stamina. Bar. Okay. Of of a sort that reminds me of... Oh, what was it? The Surge? Kind of. Poster says, feeling lonely? Buy a doll. Uh, no, no thank. Definitely no thank. Also, if you hear tape in the background, that's because we're in the process of moving. I'd apologize for it, but you know what? It's a natural consequence of things. It'll change by the next time we, we record, and probably I'll be a little bit more energetic. But it was either uh, I, I do this now, or I probably not have enough time to do this at all. And I want to give this game some love, because it looks good. Access to streets and communication pods. 
Looks like it's locked off by something. I don't know. So you wonder if you've done Time Spinner yet. Yep. I we did a full series on it. It was a fun game. I I think I prefer games that focus a little bit more on exploration. And Time Spinner was interesting. It was less about exploration than I was expecting. Pages of a diary. Those bio synthetics. Probably synthetics. Invaded the building, so I'll stay here and wait. Ugh, I'm so drowsy, so tired. I need to sleep. Oh yeah, the other, I guess, fair warning is I'm super allergic to dust. So there's a decent chance that, uh... Oh yeah, speedrunner tech is on. Stunned enemies take more damage and drop health spheres. Oh. So kill them while they're, they're stunned, got it. Uh, let's see. Uh, the other thing I should note is I'm heavily allergic to dust. So moving, I might sound a little stiff, sniffly, stuffy. Uh, this is to be expected, and I apologize for any sneezes that I might, I might do. I'll try not to, but it happens. Press back to access inventory and start to access options. Okay, so what is this? Copy the message you received. Meet me at the top of the solar cathedral. Start to access. Okay, we already got that. Now this guy looks disconcerting. Nah, we didn't get him with this stun. That's okay. This is a creepy, creepy place. It looks like to some degree you can just kind of button mash your way through things. Okay. What do we have here? I'm like... Because I'm tired... I am worried about everything, for obvious reasons. It doesn't help that these things are actually terrifying looking. Now, do I have a charge? I don't. I, we get an electric move at some point, I know that. I can break this and keep going. Oh, what's this say? Access to streets. We should probably attempt to go fight big and terrifying. Ow. Okay, so he's all... He's all stabby electric-y. Ow. But we get some health back. Okay. So we were able to kill him. What was the... What was the benefit to doing so? I don't know. Oh, come on. Really? She can't... Mantle. That's... That's unfortunate. You're currently at the control room. In case of emergency, use the electric switch to open doors. Yeah, so I... I wonder if the enemies respawn often, or at all. Oh, we're over here. Pages of a diary. The streets are not safe anymore. You can't see shit with all this fog. It's like something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. There's something over there with another one of those knife monsters, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with that. Not right now. Oh. Wow. There's no, like, you died thing. It just immediately sends you back to the menu. Okay. So it looks like most of their damage is probably wrapped up in contact damage. That's probably fine. I think I'm going to avoid Stabbington. At least this time around. I, we get guns later on, so... I figured... Question. Okay. So I have no iframes when rolling through attacks. Or enemy shots. So that's something to consider. Okay, so positioning is important, at least until we get maybe an upgrade that gets us that. I'm hoping we get a gun at some point. No, are, is there a map in this game? You're currently at the Underground Control Center. There's a note under that says, P.S. I forgot where I left my riot shield. If you find it, tell Charles. 
Okay, so that's something to check out. And it doesn't look like things respawn necessarily, so I've got a little bit of leeway to go places. Not too far, though. Go up the roof. And I'm assuming... Uh, let's give that a pass. I'm pretty... I'm pretty close to dead. Yeah, I bet we get I bet we get some sweet movement tech as we go along here. I really don't have anything right now. Okay, right. I can drop that. Now, we do have an electric wheel thing going on here. Nope. I was like, maybe if I duck I'll be okay. Let's try and not to take too much damage here. Honestly, there's not really a whole lot of reason to kill that guy. Unless there was like some kind of upgrade that I've missed. Oh, we haven't tried going up? No, no, we can't go up yet. Break these at the very least. Avoid that. Okay, so we've got another Stabbington. Okay. Oh! You ran out of stamina. So, that's the alternative. Bait them into attacking and I can f I can farm HP off of them after the fact. Okay. These are useful things to know. Ow. Damn it. Ow. Double damn it. Oh, I bet it's that thing. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. Because, yeah, there's supposedly a riot shield somewhere around here. And dang it. I'm bad at the timing. This really is, uh, super slow paced. Oh! The... The red enemies are actually randomly generated to some degree. But not always. This guy is inconveniently placed. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be some trial and error death stuff for a while. I mean, I guess I can try and fight this guy? Yeah. Probably not worth it. That the uh, the health bar, the health orbs are only worth five. Okay, so we don't get lightning floored. We're gonna go left this time. And we'll see what we can. Okay. Give me your health orbs. Kind of hoping I could farm the health orbs off of him. But no dice. Anyway, what do we get? New weapon! Uh, let's see. Bind weapon and quick slot. Riot shield! Protection against... Physical damage. Okay, I gotta look at this. And projectiles. So, I can block. Alright. So, we can now tank and spank, may maybe. I mean, we're probably still gonna get wrecked, but now we know where the riot shield is. So, if I do die... Good to go. Alright. Uh, this is a dead end. In case of emergency, use the electric switch to open doors. Yeah, they weren't kidding when they said this was going to be a slow-paced slow paced 
Metroidvania. It's interesting that as a Metroidvania, uh, the first thing we're getting our hands on is... Whoops. Is a block. I'm not used to blocking much in Metroidvanias. I think you could in... Uh, I, I should have rolled. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, and we didn't get a health orb off of that. Okay, so it looks like there's a block charge thing. Ah, but saving... Okay, access to underground control center. Oh, uh, let's go back. Because there's that upper section. But that might just be to get back to where we were. Damn it. Double damn it. Yeah, there's that dude there, and there's that switch. Oh, but I bet we can't do anything with that switch yet. I bet we need some kind of gun to actually get it working. Yeah, theoretically, Dark Souls is a Metroidvania. The various keys are, are progression locking part of the Metroidvania. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's one of the most successful 3D Metroidvanias ever. I think, um... I think the developer himself, like, admitted... Uh... Like, admitted... The, uh, what is it? The inspiration? Oh, which is cool. I don't know. I'd like to see some more Metroidvania 3D Metroidvanias. Like, Dark Souls kind of gets there, but I, I want a little bit more, like, interesting power-ups as opposed to just gear and equipment and whatnot. And keys. Anyway, you see a strange figure trying to say something. Uh... Hello to you two. Okay, so we do have an item up there. I don't think I've been this way yet. If feeling lonely, buy a doll again. Well, I don't think we've done this upper route yet. Oh, that's one way to fail it. Nope. This is like the least floaty jump ever. I keep mucking up, which is dodge roll, which is block. I'm assuming we get... Maybe this item is... Okay, we got a new weapon. Uh, let's see. Taser has low damage, but can stun enemies. Okay, so now we can open up those doors. Oh, hello. A human? This is unusual. How did you survive? Anyway, you shouldn't be here. This area is very dangerous. You'll probably just die. The Solar Cathedral? What do you plan to do there? The only... There... There are only dolls like me there. Well, if you want to get there, find a way up. The Solar Cathedral is located at the highest part of the city. Me? I just like to sit here all day. That's all. So it looks like we're going to have robots all over the place. Does this game have coyote jumping? I, you know, we'd have to do some testing. This elevator is broken. Yeah, kind of figured that. Okay. There we go. A little bit of HP back. Hey, Shortcut! Alright, so we just have this now. I'm gonna use this roll a bit more. It's not a dodge roll. But yeah, my, in my instinct said, go left. And I went left, and it was a good idea. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Actually, you know what? We want to go back this way. Nope. And we want to go up.
Okay. Probably not a wise idea, but I want to save. I don't remember when the last time I saved was. It wasn't that recent. Yeah, those guys are spooky. And I could kill this guy, but I don't think we actually needed anything. Now, we want to actually go back down. Want to shoot at me? It's kind of worthless. But that's fine. Okay, so we want to actually go back down here. There was a taser door that I could get open. Oh. I guess actually falling down here was, was the right way to go. Because, yeah, it's, it's that door over there. Okay, we're good. We do have to worry about that laser jerk. Nope, he seems actually completely uninterested in me. Good signs. Okay, so... That's a little closer than I'd like to be. Ah. Oh. You know what? There's actually a save point on the right here, so we should go grab that. Also, his shots take precedence to mine. Well, that's notable. Alright. Let's save. Let's go back and fight this guy. He's easy enough. It doesn't look like there's any kind of currency system or EXP that we have to worry about. Which is good. Okay. We're good. Bang. What does that do? Maybe the door on the left? Yeah. Alright. What do we got over here? Oh, creepy. Pages of a diary. We should be able to stay here for now. The synthetic life forms are all over the streets. The numbers are increasing at an extraordinary rate. And on top of that, they're evolving, adapting. Soon we humans will be surpassed. A bunch of spelling errors in this. I wonder if it's, uh... Oh, God. Okay. So it seems like this is worth it. Eh. Got it. Alright, so what are you? Ammo plus! Oh! Doesn't look like I can get over this thing, unfortunately. Nope. But our maximum ammo's gone up by a little bit, which I'm kind of appreciate appreciating. Let's see, all your base are belong to us. I gotta play that game someday. If only to say that I have. Because, like, it is such a large part of weird internet culture that, like, it seems I'd be remiss not to. I don't even... I, it was a shmup, right? I think it was. I don't remember if it was actually a good one. I just remember the uh, the translation was like pseudo-legendary and that, that was about it. Okay, so... We've kind of come full circle, but we did find some goodies that are absolutely worthwhile. But yeah, now we've got the taser, now we've got the shield. Did I go down here? I don't actually know if I've bothered to go down. Oh. Okay, so that guy was spookalicious. What else do we have here? Oh, this is just... This is just that section. So we could have actually just bypassed that entire lower area. Also, that is a giant lower jaw. 
What the? Not comfortable with that. Let's just go get my HP back. 50 is a bit... A bit rough. Because, yeah, whatever that guy with the, uh... Well, I guess I didn't exactly try and fight him normally. I mostly just tried to, to wangle him to death. It was a bad idea. But, yeah, it's... What you do? Nope. Oh. No contact damage on the, um... Okay, so these things can't shoot down. That is a good that is a good thing to know. Let's see, would you be comfortable with an upper jaw? No, I'd be comfortable with no jaw. Whatever that is, it's it's huge enough that uh it would leave a, a jaw that considerable. Ugh. Balls. I'm gonna bet that I'm not really supposed to get past those guys. Oh, that's interesting. So, they're like suicider-ish things for you. I think this is just more or less a health chunk. Oh, God, everything's like weird and goopy. I gotta play, I gotta play some other Metroidvanias. Like... I'm not going to say it's my goal to play every Metroidvania ever, because I think that's that's unreasonable. Oh. But, like, it is certainly... One of my, like, main goals. Okay, there we go. Ah, died. Crap. We're back here. That was not what I wanted to find. Okay, let's let's take the lower route. Your Super Metroid is good. I feel like, yeah, I should play the Super Metroid. I played Metroid Fusion and the Messenger. Yep, that's a good one. Uh, I actually started playing the messenger and, like, no one cared. I was kind of upset. I was kind of upset. I don't know. I was really busy that week. Because I was coming back from, um... I was coming back from PAX West and I didn't have... I didn't have time to... Uh, that's 30 damage. Ah, dangle. Let's just give that guy a, a wide berth. Uh, let's see. But yeah, that came out right at the beginning of September, if I remember right. When I was at PAX West, I didn't even know about it. I picked it up, and then I was just like, all right, uh, anybody anybody care to watch this? And the answer was, eh. Wow, something there. Did not appreciate. Hmm. These are... These are tough. Let's see. Goal to play the most amazing Metroidvanias. I mean, realistically, I'd like to actually play most of the good ones. I'm not actually that interested in playing bad games. Uh, so, part of it is like... I feel like my job is much more about, like, promoting good games as opposed to making fun of bad games. Sometimes I will make fun of, uh, particularly bad games here and there. But most of the time I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to give promotion to games that I think, I think deserve some attention. Yeah, so the NES Metro to try, then play Zero Mission instead because it's the same game but with a map. Huh. Why 
are these crates here? I guess a little bit of extra ammo. Man, 30 damage is a lot. I was hoping I could go after them. Okay, there we go. Health is good. I could go... I think I have to go up. I think we just got really unlucky. Okay. Stay away from that. Because it seemed like the lower section was much, much worse. Okay, what if I go down? I don't think we really checked this way. I was trying to just rush it. Oh. Nope, there's no there's no elevator there. And it looks like I could get rid of that one guy. But I probably don't need to. Okay. Okay, got that one. Shoot this guy, get a bit of health back. And then realize, oh! That's where I need to be. I need to go over and up. There's a taser spot to get that door open. Oop. Don't muck it up. Ran out of juice just at the last second. Luckily, it doesn't look like we're running into ammo problems yet, but maybe I'm being a little bit conservative with it. Well, what's my new gun? Uh, it is the energy sword. Can reflect, project... Uh, I... We zero now. Alright. So now that we've got that, I don't think I can reflect the fire. That sounds like a giant pain. However... I feel like I should go back and save. Yeah, let's go back and save. We'll have to get past the, uh... We'll have to get past the burn burninators a second time. But honestly, I think it's worth it. Because the alternative is having to go through that entire upper section again. Unless, of course, dying actually doesn't reset your progress. I don't... I don't know. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, I, I'd hate to lose the Z-Saber here. Just because. I wonder if I finished Into the Breach and now I'm playing with mods. Do I ever plan on playing it again? Maybe, kind of, sort of. The game was very stressful and very, very slow. Uh, maybe with mods, yeah. My problem is just, like, too many new games. Not nearly enough time. Z-Saber. Z-Saber is satisfying. It doesn't look like it gets as much stamina there, though. But yeah, I mean, if time allows and people want me to play it again, absolutely. But it's... It's really, those two are extremely conditional. Ah, dang it. That puts us in a bit of a bad spot. You really think that guy would take a lot more damage. Okay. Damn it. Now, double damn it. Alright, whatever, we didn't lose anything. Just try it again, and not get shot on the way down. <laughs> 